Hello, welcome to the session on ratio, proportion and variation. This is brought to you by Anda Kafanda. Let us say I have two things A and B and they are in the ratio of 3 is to 5. What that means is that A by B will always be a constant 3 by 5. Now A can be 3, B can be 5, A can be 6, B can be 10, A can be 9, B can be 15. But A by B, if I find that out, that should always be 0 0.6. In that case, A and B are said to be in the ratio of 3 is to 5. If A by B is equal to C by D, then it is said that A by B are in the same ratio as C and D. Or A by A, B, C, D are said to be proportional to each other. However, if A by B is equal to B by C is equal to C by D, then they are said to be in a continued proportion. If you realize, that means A, B, C and D are in a geometric progression as well. To have a look at componendo and dividendo, it will be a plus b by a minus b is equal to c b by c minus d. That is numerator plus denominator by numerator minus denominator. If I apply that on both sides, it remains constant. Why does this happen? Think about it. What will you get if you add 1 on both sides? You will get a plus b by b is c plus d by d. What will you get if you minus 1 on both sides? You will get a minus b by b is equal to c minus d by d. If you divide these two equations, what am I going to get? d and d will cancel, d and d will cancel and ultimately this result is going to emerge. Let us say I am given the value of a by b as 3 by 5 and I am asked to find out the value of this equation. Is it possible? No. For solving such an equation in a and b, it is necessary that all the powers are same. As you can see, the degree of A here is 2, B is 3, A is 2 and B is 4. As long as they are different, you can never find out a solution for this. However, if all the degrees are same, as you can see here, then you can get a solution. Theoretically, ideally, you should be solving it by dividing the numerator and denominator by B square. You will get A square by B square plus 1 and thrice of A square by B square minus 1. Then, you have the value of A by B, put in the value of A square by B square and you will get the answer. But a simpler way to solve it is, you have the value of a by b as 3 by 5. In this equation, once you have figured out that it is solvable, that is all degrees are same, just put a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 5. See what will you get? You will get 9 plus 25 by 27 minus 25. That is effectively 25 and 9 is 34 by 2 or 17. My point is you can directly obtain an answer instead of dividing and solving it ideally by just putting in the values a is 3 and b is 5. But please remember this method is applicable if and only if all the degrees are same as is the case here. Another special case would be something like this. Suppose I am given a by b is p by q is m by n is 3 by 5. And then I am given a long complicated equation. Please note that in the complicated equation degrees of all of them are same. They are all 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Another point to note is that the coefficient of the corresponding terms is the same. That is for a cube and b cube it is 6, for p cube and q, q cube it is 7, for m cube and n cube it is 17. Now to find out the actual value of this, you may substitute a as 3b by 5, p as 3q by 5, m as 3n by 5 and then calculate. But you must realize it is going to be a hell of a job. To avoid that, if such a pattern exists, once again the pattern is that all degrees are same and coefficients of the corresponding terms are same. Then directly you can say that your answer will be whatever was the original ratio to whatever is the common degree, which in this case is 3. Or you can directly say for such a complicated question, directly your answer is 27 by 1, 2, 5. A variation of this might exist that instead of 6b cube, 7q cube and 17n cube, you might have had 12b cube, 14q cube and 34n cube. What will you do in that case? Just take two common and once again you will be left with this. Once again you can find out the answer. So if my denominator was 12b cube, 14q cube and 34n cube, my answer would have been half of 3 by 5 whole cube or 27 by 250. Two things are said to be directly proportional to each other. If increase in one causes a proportionate increase in the other, decrease in one causes proportionate decrease in the other. To look at it, you can also say that A is equal to a certain constant into B or 
the ratio of a by b remains a constant. You can use this idea for solving questions. For a little more clarity, say a doubles. What will happen to b? b will also double. If a becomes 3 by 5 of the original, b will also become 3 by 5 of the original. a increases by 20%, b will also increase by 20%. a falls by 20%, b falls by 20%. If a falls by 50%, b will also fall by 50%. Whatever happens in case of a, the same thing happens with b. In the other case, that is this one, a is inversely proportional. For solving the equation, you can say a is equal to a particular constant by b. Or so to say, the product of the two terms remains a constant. How will you tackle this? That means if a doubles, what will happen to b? b will have to become half of the original. If a becomes half of the original, b will have to double. If a becomes 3 by 5 of the original, then to compensate for that, b will have to become 5 by 3 of the original. If a increases by 20%, you know that b will fall. But how much will b fall? Will it fall by 20%? No. Say A increases by 20%. That means A increases by 1 fifth or A becomes 6 by 5 of the original. So if A is becoming 6 by 5 of the original, B will become 5 by 6 of the original or it will fall by 16.66%. If A falls by 20%, you know for a fact that B is going to increase. But by how much? You need to use the same idea again. Falling by 20%, that means falling by 1 fifth. That means it is becoming 4 by 5 of the original. So B will become 5 by 4 of the original. Or so to say it will increase by 25%. If A falls by 50% or A falls by half. It becomes half of the original. In that case B will become double of the original. Or so to say it will increase by 100%. That wraps up the session on ratio proportion and variation. Please stay tuned at Handa Kafanda to watch other videos on other chapters. Thank you.